Whatever, thanks. Hey, what's up, Luke? I am here with the amazing Frank Yang. He's a mind-fucking bodybuilder. He has a really awesome channel. I'll uh, link to it in the description at the end. Here's Mr. Frank. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frank. So today we're sitting here next to our torso because we're, we're going to talk about like uh, pussies. Well, we're here in Venice Beach. Yeah. And we're going to talk about... There's a lot of beautiful women here, by the way. There are, yeah. yeah like, to hear, like in Taiwan, oh, like... Okay. Like yesterday when I when I came here, like when I when I went to the, uh, Santa Monica Beach, yeah. So when I when I when I see like, it's just so many colors and like. Of more, of, more of a yeah, I feel like I, I was in a dream almost because I haven't been yeah. in in LA for so long. Yeah. And I feel like I was walking through a dream, because like because I think I feel like LA is like a place where, like the image is like, oh there is almost it's just like. Okay. The image, and the, the abstract, and the concrete is one of the same. It's more like the Hollywood image. Kind yeah, of. yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, we're living in the Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so like, basically, I feel like LA is like a simulation of something that doesn't really exist. Yeah, okay. it's a projection of the the fake into the world, but then it's yeah, this but is where the fakeness. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. like like here. Taiwan copies like a lot of countries like Taiwan. Okay. They they copy LA's image. So for oh. Taiwan, there's something for them to copy. Yeah. Like their image has a base. That base is LA. But when I'm in LA, I feel like. It's like a, it's like a, it's like it's spinning. It's like spinning wow. on a vacuum. If LA wants to sustain itself or move forward, yeah. he has to, he also, he has to uh, cop itself. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, in, in this video, we wanted to talk about how kind of our culture is really, uh, our men are almost like really pussified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how, um, like, if you think about Spartan culture, the like kids are growing up and they had like yeah, right, right. muscle lions and like we're in these like boot camps and they were. Uh, in touch, their like physicality, their sexuality, like chasing fear. And today, like guys just grew up in schools, we're just told to sit down, shut up, uh, crunch out these mathematics, right, look right. at pornography, and we don't get in touch with that like sexuality and that like manhood. So for them, it's more holistic. Yeah. For them, like hunting, hunting animals, uh, having sex, and like doing math or doing music, dance, it's all the same. For us, like it's so divided. Yeah. Right. We 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 are we we experience the world through like all th like if you're a doctor today, like. You're a pinky doctor, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like everything is so like yeah, exactly. specified, you know? It's, it's not, yeah. yeah, but before it's just more holistic and everything comes from the body, like the whole like energy. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's cool because you got your bodybuilding on your YouTube channel and you also yeah. got your philosophy. So there's a duality between the like intellectual, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spiritual, artistic you and the bodybuilding, physical, yeah, raw, yeah, yeah. sexual you. You like it both of them. Yeah, yeah. And then for you, you have pranks. Pranks and philosophy. So I've done the pranks and the philosophy. I hit yeah. the duality too. But yeah. like most people, they just do in school and they just learn about all these different parts. Yeah. And they don't connect into that like physical, sexualness. Yeah, yeah. And they're they're not, they're just little parts. But yeah. They never get to the whole. Right, 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 right. They, they never get the whole or just emanating out of them. They're like passionate about life because they're right. just learning about the parts, not the whole. Right, right, right. So how do you think people should get back to it? Like connect the dots and like live through the bodies or like live life more holistically? That's, well, what, what's the, what's the to, solution? They have to find an avenue to project themselves into the world. So right, right. They have to figure out how to fuck the world. Right, right. Being fucked by the world. Right, right, right. So they have to maybe, they have to create, I think, I think Terrence McGinney said that most people's problem is that they consume yeah. culture instead of creating your own. They take in the culture. Yeah, yeah. Like watching Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Like when I watch a movie, I'm like jealous of the main characters. Right, right. I want to be the main character in my right, movie. Right, I don't right. want to watch other people's movies. You know? Right, 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 right. I enjoy other people's movies, but it makes it creates this reaction here where I like I want to be James Bond in real life. I don't want to watch James Bond. I think the I think everyone has the drive to be creative. Yeah. But most people. They think they have that drive satisfied by consuming, yeah. Or like it's even 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 sex. Like most like everyone has sex drive, but like yeah. when your when your body or your mind becomes satisfied uh, by sex through pornography, yeah, that's too abstract. That you're not you think you're being satisfied, but you're it's you're not because like when you're watching when you watch pornography, like your mind, like when, okay, when you experience reality and when you're just dreaming yeah. and when you're just like thinking about things, yeah. your mind doesn't really know the difference yeah. because it's, in your mind, it's just all just a model. Yeah. Yeah. So when you watch pornography, and this is not just me theorizing because they actually did studies where uh -huh. just like thinking about something or watching something and actually doing something, it actually creates very similar patterns in your brain. Yeah. So when you watch pornography, your brain actually is tricking itself into thinking that you're actually having sex 
with like a 10 out of 10 girl like every day. Yeah. And that fucks up your and brain. You get to rea reality and yeah, and then disconnected. Yeah, because you, you when you in reality with a girl, your brain is thinking it's in a pornography yeah. movie. Yeah. Then you feel the separation between you and everyone else because you're living in fantasy land instead of living in real life. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. The, the yeah. The difference is whether or not you incorporate your body. Yeah. Because uh, when you have the difference between watching pornography and having sex in real life, even though for your mind is the same. You're coming your body. Yeah. Yeah. Coming with your body. Yeah. So it's all about the coming back to like the body. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 That's yeah. why for my for my videos, uh -huh. uh, I like to like I, I I like to create an abstract image of my body. Yeah. That's how I incorporate both my body and my mind. That's how I, you know, that's how I satisfy. Or that's yeah. how I reunite the dualism between the abstract and the concrete, the mind, yeah. and the body. And you do and, it in an artistic way. Yeah. yeah, and for you, it's like prank. You, you explain it. By, like, by, by going out there and yeah, doing my experiment. You're actually affecting the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to make other people's lives a movie. Yeah, you try, you bring other people's yeah. saliva into your mind and vice versa. Yeah. You're like incorporating your legs. It's, yeah. it's like this thing that you suck yeah. other people I'm, I'm into. i make real life. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So yeah. Instead of consuming movies. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. how I, you so know. I think the key is finding a lot of ways to create. Yeah. To fuck the world. So yeah, yeah. Like find, uh, in a uni unified way. In a unified way that yeah. connects. Also, I feel like when you were talking about in the beginning how people are just like experiencing bits, I feel like yeah. a lot of artists today, or maybe a lot of artists today are also experiencing that, right? Yeah. It's like they, they're, they're too abstract, like math or like, you know, they're too, they, they're, they live in their heads too much. Yeah. So like, you see a lot of see, people. Like, sometimes people call me like a hipster, uh -huh. and I tell them I'm not a hipster because I lift weights. <laughs> and when the other side of the extreme, people call me a meathead, yeah. and I say I can't be a meathead because I make art. And I talk about yeah. philosophy. Yeah. So, so that's how. That's cool. That's the you proof that. I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so I feel like a lot of times, like, a lot of times, yeah, it's, like you say, it's all it's too much in a box, too much in a bit. Yeah. People are either this or that, you know. You're breaking out. Yeah. yeah so, so I think a re one really good way to like break out or emerge is to pick something that is complete opposite of what. You're used to. Exactly. If you're if you're a writer or you're an artist, start bodybuilding or start like yeah. yeah. And then the two will grow together. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Philosophy. Exactly. The you'll be yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And if you're a bodybuilder, start like to reading reading books. Yeah. I think once you have the two extremes covered, oh. everything else in the middle emerge. Definitely. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Greeks, right? I forgot to say this when you mentioned the Greeks. Like okay. the Greeks, uh, the, the the soldiers. Is it still going? The warriors and the soldiers, uh, besides such like actual physical combat training, uh -huh. uh, athletics and stuff, they also were trained in music yeah. and like dance and the arts. Yeah. Because they know that they understand that by understanding the more abstract forms of, of living or the experience in the world through music and art, yeah. it helps them in the battlefield. Yeah, exactly. The art and yeah, music helps yeah, in the battlefield. Exactly. So we gotta go back to that unification of the body and the mind or whatever yeah, duality you're true. experiencing uh -huh. and Turn yourself into Renaissance. Yeah, 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 exactly. Be more like the Greeks. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing is divided. It's all holistically. Know how to connect the dots. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the, the definition of creativity is really? knowing how to connect the dots. I like that. Yeah. Cool. yeah. It's like this one person, I forgot who he was, he said that creativity just means that you like to do everything. You you you're good at everything. Uh -huh. Like you have a lot of different hobbies, a lot of different uh Okay. You so like to dip your feet every, into the different you're, different you're, ponds. You're in infinity, nothing to back. Yeah, because yeah. creativity is all about connection. I like that. We got this uh, yeah. CVS. Here you go. What is this? Just drugs. All right. for a big black cock. BBC is like a symbol. It could be represented by anything. Yeah. And uh, today it's... Uh, it's oh, 20 cc though, you yeah. used like too much last time.